Welcome back everybody, I'm Charles Bryant and today I want to talk to you about an issue that I have with my Mavic 2's vision positioning system and how I went about fixing it right after this. First off, I hope all of you are healthy, happy, and staying COVID free and just enjoying life because honestly, I miss getting out. I miss going places and being around people. I'm just, I'm just over it, I'm over it. But moving on to the story with the drone, I was out trying to fly to get some cinematic shots the other day and noticed that I had the big red triangle alert message. You know, the one that says that if you don't upgrade your firmware, the drone's gonna fall out of the sky and explode. Well, it didn't say that this time. It said that I had to calibrate my vision positioning system. And I was like, what? I, I've never seen that before. Oh well, no big deal. I'll just calibrate it like I calibrate and do everything else within the app. Well, that's not what happened. I had to go back home, connect my drone to my laptop, and go through this DJI Assisted 2 for Mavic application, which I said in one take without messing up, and I'm pretty proud of that, and go through this whole 10 minute ordeal of calibrating all the camera sensors with that application. It was a little confusing, and that is why I made this video, because I wanna show you in real time, no fast forwarding, no jump cutting, I wanna show you the whole procedure and how to do it. That way, if you have any questions, you can watch this video, and maybe it will help you get up and running a lot quicker than I did. So without further ado, let's go ahead and get in the computer and get started. Okay, the first thing you're gonna do once you're inside your computer here is you're going to download, if you have not already, the DJI Assistant 2 for Mavic app. If you don't have it, I'm gonna walk you through it. We're gonna to go to DJI.com right now. So let me type in DJI, here we go. Now when you get to the DJI website, you're going to hover, I repeat hover, not click, hover on support. You will have another list of options to go to. On the lower right hand corner, go to the download center, click on that. That'll take you to another page. Scroll down to the bottom. You'll see it down here in the middle called DJI Assistant 2 from Mavic. I have already clicked and downloaded it. I'm not gonna go through that process, but pause the video, go through that process and come back. We'll be waiting right here for you. So the next and most important thing we're gonna do is take the props off the drone. These guys right here, right? Those guys because it's an electronic device. We don't need this drone like freaking out, you know, and like lopping off all your fingers during the process. So take those props off. Safety first. All right, now that we've got these props off, we're gonna set them right over here. The next thing I want you to do is take this original OEM cable that came with your drone, it's the USB-C to USB-A cable, and connect it to your computer. Now, will any USB-C and USB-A cable work? I don't know, honestly, I really don't. I don't know if this is like a special data transmission cable or what, so I used this cable, I had no problems. So I'm gonna connect the cable to my computer and then the USB side to the drone and we're gonna connect it right here to this part. I'm gonna undo it right there. So you'll connect it just like that. Set the drone down, move the cable out of the way. All right, so once you have all that connected, go ahead and start your, your assistant software that you downloaded and installed and click on any confirmation messages that you may get. Then turn your drone on and wait patiently because it takes a few minutes for the app to kind of find the drone. And once it's found the drone, it's gonna show up here in the left hand corner at the top. Go ahead and click on that. And then it's gonna take you to a page where it's searching your drone for the latest firmware. If it doesn't have the latest firmware, it's gonna recommend that you update it. And I recommend that you go ahead and pause the video and update that and then come back. If it is already upgraded, you're good to go. On the other hand, if there's an issue with the firmware that you have right now, you can always downgrade that firmware to an older version. And a lot of times that will resolve some issues that you may have. Over here on the left side, you have some other options. What we're looking for is calibration. So click on calibration. And then the next page is gonna show you a little tutorial, basically a preface of what to expect in the next procedures. So go ahead and click next on all of this stuff, unless you just really wanna watch that. And then when you're ready, go ahead and click calibrate now. Wow, what is that? That's gonna take you into a huge page right here where it's got a bunch of circles that looks like a QR code, right? And then on this side right here, it's showing you that diagram of what to do and then some instructions to follow. Down here, what in the world is that? Well, that is your sensor cameras. See my hands right there? 
So isn't that pretty cool? It's like you're looking through the eyes of the drone. Um, and then right here, this big red box, this is where you're gonna get all of your alerts. If you are not doing something correctly, it's gonna scream at you and say, wrong, error, you're doing it wrong. Don't worry, all you gotta do is correct it and everything will be fine. So we're gonna ahead and start with this front camera system. I'm gonna lift and hold the drone up and turn it 90 degrees. And then you're gonna see this little red rectangle box. And I've got to line it up with this green one. So I'm gonna move the drone in closer to the screen. And as it locks in, it's gonna turn blue. Boom, just like an F-16, right? So then you've got this box right here. This is the blue box of your drone, and this is the box you have to follow. So you're gonna follow this around everywhere it's going. And this is the calibration process. It's kind of tedious and monotonous. Take your time and make sure you do it correctly. It is very, and you have to do this twice. It's very similar to calibrating a joystick on a gaming controller, so. Second time is the charm, right? All right, we've done that one, so we'll click on and move to the next set of sensors. It's gonna show you what to do. And that is rotate the camera where we're doing the down of the underside camera sensors. So we're gonna move the drone in closer, lock that reticle in with the green one, turns blue, and then we'll follow the blue all the way around, just like what we did with the first one. And once again, you have to do this twice. Take your time, don't be in a hurry, because you want to be as precise with this as you possibly can. All right, we've done the, uh, the bottom side, now we're gonna work with the rear sensor calibration. So we'll rotate the drone this direction right here and then slowly move into the computer screen till we get those red and green recticles to line up. They turn blue when it's locked on. And then we'll follow that teal box all the way around and calibrate these sensors. And once again, we have to do it twice. I think they do it twice just to make sure you didn't mess up on the first go around. So. All right, now, this is gonna get a little tricky. We have to fold these two back arms. We have to fold them in. Now, this one's got to be careful with because this has got a cable in it. You don't want this to snap shut and break this cable off into your drone. So let it just rest there, it'll be fine. And then we're gonna work with the right side camera here and we're gonna move into the sensor, get those reticles to line up together and lock in and turn blue. And then follow the teal box all the way around. All right, and now we have to do the left side. So click that, flip it around to the left side. And once again, just like always, match the red and green rectangles together. They turn blue, they lock on, and then we'll follow the teal box all the way around again. Now the funny thing is, is we've only had to do this once on these side cameras, but we had to do it twice on the others. I'm not exactly sure why, it's just the way it is. All right, the moment we've all been waiting for, did we pass the test? What a nail clincher this is. Yes, we passed. All right, awesome. Good deal. Next thing we have to do is just reset the drone, and that is all it's asking for us to do. Reset the drone, and then you should be good to go. Now, I will tell you from my experience that after doing this, the drone just seemed to have a little bit better responsiveness to my stick inputs, and that it just seemed to fly overall better and was more stable. I don't know, but that's all she wrote. That's gonna pretty much end it for today, guys. I hope you have enjoyed this video, that it has helped you. And if you like this video, give it a like. And if you want to see more content like this, 
hit the subscribe button and hit that bell so you know when I post again and I will see you when I come back. Thank you.